practice on the one that's harder because then when you go to this you're gonna be able to play higher so you know we're going somewhere in america i kind of just gave that away but you don't know where in america nah bro you're not them bro you got your own story Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cus Campbell. So we have a great video for you today. Full day, trombone playing, how to play in the upper register. Also too, gonna be taking a trip to a mysterious location. Yeah, we're taking a trip later on, super random, but actually gonna be hopping on the plane tomorrow morning, 7.30 a.m. Have to be at the airport probably around five. Leave at four. Work tonight until midnight. So basically like three hours of sleep, if not two, because I have to still pack. I haven't packed at all yet. Let's get into it. I'm gonna take you upstairs. We're gonna do some high notes and then we got a flight to catch. Let's go, boys. Let's go, baby. All right, y'all. Welcome into my room. So, where it's not 10 degrees. Had to play in the upper register, so I got my large bore. This is a blessing rose bell, okay? It's made out of rose gold. See how it's like kind of pink? It's lit. Got this in high school from my uncle. This horn is like really, really, really expensive. It's kind of like a classical horn. It's a large bore, but there's no trigger. So a lot of times when we talk about playing in the upper register, I actually use this horn to practice because one of the ways to help you play in the upper register, and like this might not work for everybody, but if you have a large bore instrument or you have a bass trombone, I would highly, highly recommend you play on that. And you try to work up your range. We're gonna do G. A flat. A. And then B flat. How do you take the next step above that? The more you play on the large bore, you get used to playing on the large bore. And for anyone who doesn't know what a large bore means, it's just that like the hole where the mouthpiece goes in is, it's a little bit wider, which means that the mouthpiece is bigger, but basically all the tubing is bigger. Just like a bass trombone, it's bigger. The bigger the horn is, the bigger all those holes are, more air you have to put through. Trumpet mouthpieces compared to a trombone, it's very, very small. The hole's very, very tiny, but tuba mouthpieces are huge, right? So if you can play a tuba, I would try to play as high as you can on a tuba. Then when you go and you play trombone, you're gonna be like, man, this is just, this feels Feels good. So that's my first piece of advice. And the next piece of advice would be to do exercises that are gonna push your range. I think one good one is definitely lip slayers. So I'm used to playing on like a P-bone mouthpiece on a King 3B. Bell on a King 3B is definitely bigger than on a 2B, but the mouthpiece can really make a difference as well. This is a Greg of 6.5, right? My teacher, Marshall Jilks, he, he uses it a lot. I think he still does. It's a great mouthpiece and he does a lot of like puddle jumping stuff and, and low like pedal stuff. So I, I like that in hip hop and stuff. I think it's kind of cool. So I, I try to play on like lower stuff as well. And that's part of the reason why I got the Grego mouthpiece. But uh, at this point, the Grego mouthpiece definitely takes takes like a third off your range. You wanna be real cognizant about choosing a mouthpiece. Look at how much bigger the Grego is. And like, it's granted it's gold plated and there are a lot of people who can like really get this mouthpiece to ring. But at the same time, you know, you just wanna make sure that like, if you have both, practice on the one that's harder. Because then when you go to this, you're gonna be able to play higher. I've been around trombonists in the past where like we'd be at gigs and stuff and they'd be changing their mouthpieces and stuff. I'm like, I've done that too. You know what I mean? Cause certain mouthpieces are meant for certain things. Like, this is a P-bone. 11C, right? You play on like a mouthpiece that's like smaller, you're gonna have a higher range. They make other mouthpieces too that have the rim is a little bit smaller, you know what I mean? Which also makes a difference, is smaller. Or, or the cup, it's not a cup, but it's just straight. Like this one is a cup, but this, this one's not. See what I'm saying? See how there's no cup? See how this one has the cup? The cup is used more in classical, it's used more in like lower playing. Those are like some of like the main things I would keep in mind. We got a flight to catch, so let's get it. When you need shit for when you go away on vacation, you go to Walmart. We got some crazy videos coming your way throughout this entire trip, so I'm super pumped for you guys to see them. There's currently 1034. Your boxers within your trombone case. A little hack. Gives it extra protection.
the airport. We're gonna get inside right now and uh, go on a flight. Made it to the airport, made it to security. Damn, people patting down my hair. Also, I don't know when you guys are watching this, but uh, shout out Big Poppy for making the uh, Hall of Fame. Just chilling right now, it's 6.20, border around 7.20. As you can see, you already know what I'm flying, American Airlines. So you know we're going somewhere in America, I kind of just gave that away, but you don't know where in America. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to New Orleans. Stay tuned for an unbelievable trip. 